Hey, welcome back. Chris with RC Worst here. Today we are back with troubleshooting the jet pump. And today we're talking about losing pressure when you're not using water. And that usually only means one of one thing, uh, that you're losing water. So you've got a leak somewhere in the system. Now, one of the more common places to have a leak in the system is foot valve failure and or uh, if you winterize your pump, disconnect any fittings or anything like that, perhaps your suction line is not fully tightened and it's allowing some air to come in. Oftentimes suction lines don't leak outwards uh, because they're not under pressure, they're, they're kind of under suction, so they'll just suck air into the pump and usually loss of prime will occur. Um, but at the same time, that can allow especially in a foot valve situation, that can allow the water level to drop. You can lose pressure in the system if that foot valve has failed. Um, additionally, it's an indicator of potentially a leak underground somewhere or a leak somewhere within the house. And more often than not, potentially a, a toilet float valve that's gone bad and is letting the toilet continue running and that's why the system's losing pressure even though you think you're not using water. Um, I, we see that one all the time, the toilet float valves. Um, so usually if the, if the system is losing pressure and you're not running anything, there is a leak and you gotta figure out where it's at. Uh, if you need advice on exactly how to do that, then go ahead and give us a call or reach out to us, send us an email, what have you. Uh, and we'll do our best to try to help you identify where that's located. So one thing that's going to be really useful for you if you do find yourself in this situation is ball valves. Uh, and that's what I have here. Uh, so ball valves are going to allow you to isolate certain parts of the system, whether you've got ball valves on your suction line, which sometimes is a risky move uh, if, if you leave it closed and your pump burns up. but. Don't do that and you won't have a problem. Uh, and then on your discharge side, if you have a ball valve between the pump and the pressure switch, which most jet pumps, luckily, your pressure switch is right here. Uh, so you don't have to worry about that. But if you do have your pressure switch moved, uh, you want to be careful also not to have your ball valve in between there and accidentally close. Because once again, your pump will run and run and run until it dies. But again, isolating parts of the system. So let's say we have a ball valve after the pump and just because we're crazy, one on the suction side, uh, what we could actually do is close either one of those ball valves, one at a time obviously, and then watch the pressure gauge on the system and see if we're still losing pressure. And then at least it's either gonna point that way or that way, depending on you know, what we're able to isolate with those ball valves. So the more ball valves you have, um, the easier it's gonna be for you to figure out where that leak's at. All right, so that's pretty much it for this episode, talking about uh, losing pressure when you're not using water and how to address it. So if that didn't solve your problem or you wanna know more about how to troubleshoot your jet pumps, one, don't forget to like and subscribe for more great content like this, but two, stay tuned, because you're in the video series for how to troubleshoot a jet pump. We'll catch you next time.